we have already done the search customer module where we searched for a customer and his data was presented to us on the form. Now we have to do the edit customer module. That is the data for a customer is to be edited now. We can have a look at what is the desired output. We are here edit customer module desired output. When you search a customer you are shown this customer details and edit link is there and a few detail of whatever was saved is shown here. Now the user will click on this edit. When he clicks on this edit he has to be taken to a new page and the data already has to be shown on that form and in case the user makes some changes then they have to be propagated back to the database. We can have a look at this action link. This is the code that we have in this inset. This action link is generated by this uh, edit customer is the action method home is the controller and it receives a primary key that is the ID of the customer as a root value. So clicking this should take us to a new form and this means immediately we have to add an edit customer action method to the home controller which will, which will accept a get request. And simultaneously to that action method we have to add a view that will show the form for the customer. And finally we will have to write a post method that will accept the modified data coming from the client side and cause the changes in the database. So this is what we have to do right now. Let us start by adding edit customer action method. So uh, let us look for our home controller. This is our ADMN area controllers and home controller. Double click it and this is our home controller. So somewhere here we'll have to type the action method for edit customer. This action method is going to receive a parameter ID that will contain the ID of the record for this customer that is the primary key. Let us now start typing here this is the ID that we'll receive. The ID is a auto number field so a number will come. Querying the database. TBL user is to be returned to the view where it has to be shown the existing values and uh, we haven't made any check for the existence or non-existence. If it is not there, we haven't checked it because the chances of the not being not there are almost zero because you are clicking on something that is already shown on the form. So we are writing t is equal to ctxt dot tbl users dot single or default x goes to a comparison of the primary key and the whole record is returned back to the view for edit customer. Let us now add the view. Click on add. 
and here we have to put the form for editing we can write the model dot areas dot admin dot uh, I think uh, it has been put outside dot entity models dot tbl user we can type out the things this will give the menu customer info and customer form if you remember a data entry form for new customer was already created by us in the first module we'll use the same data entry form for data editing also where is this customer form it is in the shared here we'll have a look at the in the shared folder it is here it contains the text box for the message for the email and for the customer name and the customer phone and a partial for the message also now let us try to run it to see whether we are getting the form or not click on the login click search a b intelligence will take us there search so it is this edit that we have to click for which we have coded right now click it and it takes you to the new page now for the save we have to write the post receiver and uh, let's write for that also and then come back to verify whether we have done it correctly or not so it is in the home controller that we have to write the post counterpart of edit customer let us key it down http post edit customer and what will it receive it will receive the id of the customer being edited as well as the new tbl user object that contains the modified values so here we are completing it uh, we'll search for uh, the values that are coming and in case uh, some null is coming uh, we are going to set t will not bring any primary key with it primary key is available in id so we are setting it here t dot id auto primary key is equal to id and if it is null then set to zero although it won't be null but it's just a safety guard then attach this t because we are setting the primary key of this to the one that we are editing right now this primary key now why this story this is like uh, this deserves attention here if you see the form the form contains email phone but there is no text box or any hidden field for the primary key for t that is not being posted back because scaffold column is false we are not using it for participating in the process where this t will be filled a uh, t will contain the filled value of id only two parameters will be filled one is the name and one is the phone this object will con the object will get will contain id auto pk as null but these values will be correctly filled but id is available from this parameter so therefore we are setting the id equal to that and this t object becomes the object which is to be updated in the database and for that we are attaching it 
for updating we have to attach and this object is now proper it will be available in the database because its ID is now matched to the one that is being edited it is no longer null so the story is that T would contain its ID auto primary key as null because this has not been posted it was not a part of the data entry form but ID is coming here and we have taken it from here and put it back and then set the state of this T to modified because by default it is unmodified for the details of this you can go through my original lectures on entity where we discussed how to update how to update a database using entity model you can go through my original lectures in the starting lectures it is there and finally you put context.save changes and this one again deserves attention return redirect to action index search customer email to search so this will go as a query string this will go as a query string to the search customer action email to search something like this email to search as I explained in that lecture this query string will contain the email and when it hits the action method the data for this email will be searched from the database and the form will be filled so that we will be coming back to the original form and requeried so the changed values will be visible on the new form I can show you the search customer where we were search customer controller and here it is coming email to search this is a get and will be redirected to this and this will finally show us back what the same form field back let us now run it and see what the output is and what are the problems okay click on edit and let us make a slight change here and we see validations are working very well just changing it to something and click on save now this is an error that has bounced up about which we were never aware why because if you remember we have used the same data entry form and a validation is already placed for this where it checks for a remote is email available and of course this email is available because you are editing this time so this validation is firing this is the remote validation that fires at the time of data entry we are using the same form for data editing also and so this problem has cropped up now we have to solve this problem which you will encounter quite often the solution of this I am giving in the next video lecture so we will close it right now and there we will discuss how to solve this problem thanks